Hi everyone, so hope you're all doing well. I'm recording this uh, a day before the final Paper 3 A-Level Maths exam, which will be tomorrow on the 20th of June in the afternoon. So if you are watching this uh, on the 19th of June or in the morning of the exam, uh, this is just some last, uh, some final last minute words of wisdom, last minute advice that I would like to give you guys all before that exam. Now, if you are watching maybe in the future, like 2024, 2025, obviously, you know, still watch the video because all this advice is relevant for everyone doing their final paper three exam. So whether in, you're an edic, uh, edXL, AQA, OCR student, this is um, this is a good video for, for you to watch just, just before your final exam. So one piece of advice that I would give you, and this is a mindset that I used to use as a student, is to, view, to, is to view this exam or to view any maths exam you do as a game. So don't, you know, don't think, oh, no, I've got an exam tomorrow. Oh, no, this is um, this is a really horrible test that they're going to, you know, they're forcing upon us to do. And it's going to be really horrible. And they're trying to trick us out. This is an opportunity for you. This is an opportunity. It's a game you're going to play. And the objective of the game is to get as many marks as possible. So that's a mindset that I used to use as a student. So don't think, oh, exam, this is going to be really bad. This is, you know, <laughs> this is designed to trip me out. It's not. This is an opportunity. It's a game to play. And your task is to get as many marks. Sorry, your task is to get as many marks as possible. OK, so view it as, a, you know, a challenge, a game. But don't be, you know, scared, nervous. Every single question in that exam will be from the syllabus that you studied. There's not going to be any question in that exam outside the syllabus. This is just an opportunity to demonstrate what you've learned. Everything that you've learned so far in your life in maths, this is your chance to demonstrate it. So I know that uh, AQA students, your exam, your paper three exam, your exam tomorrow is going to be pure in statistics. Um, if you're at Excel, it's mechanics and statistics. Uh, if, you're the, uh, if you're doing OCRA, it's going to be uh, pure and mechanics. And I think if you're doing OCR MEI, um, it's just going to be pure and your comprehension paper. So just, again, regardless of what exam board you're doing, this is your opportunity. It's a game in which you're going to get as many marks as possible. You're going to try and get as many marks as possible. So that's a good mindset to have, in my opinion, I think. Uh, another thing that I say to students, another last minute you know, piece of advice, is when you see a question, try to write something down. So I know that a lot of students sometimes, <clears throat> especially with the harder questions, may not write something down. So they may look at the question, just leave it blank, move on to the next question. But I want you to challenge yourself to try and write something down. So I'm not asking you, you know, to spend, you know, 10 minutes trying to think of something to write down, but just see if you can write a relevant formula down. So if it's a normal distribution question, for example, let's say you get a normal distribution question, if you're doing, for example, edXL and AQA, normal distribution question, write that distribution down. See if you can come up with that distribution. So write maybe something like, I don't know, like, you know, uh, let's say they tell you the mean is, um, let's say the mean is like 100, but they don't tell you the sigma. We'll just write this down then. So you've got normal distribution, mean of 100, variance sigma squared. So just writing relevant pieces of information down helps your subconscious process what steps you need to try and take to answer the question, right? So it's a way of writing things down so that your brain can kind of come up with a method to, to try and tackle the question, okay? Again, going back to what I said earlier, every single question in that exam you're going to see tomorrow or later on this afternoon, if you're watching this in the morning, every exa every single question, right, is based on the syllabus you've learned. There is nothing outside the syllabus, right, in, the, in these exams. So write something down relevant and allow your subconscious to try and see if you can come up with a solution. But I will say this, if you cannot think of anything to write down, so if you, you know, you sat there in the exam, you've looked at the question, you spent about a minute of thinking time, you, you know, you've sat down, you've, you've spent about 60 seconds and you've not written anything down, you've not made any progress in the question, move on. OK, so move on to the next part. And this word here is really important. Right. So notice that I've not said move on to the next question. I've said move on to the next part. So let's say, you know, question three, part A. You know, let's say, I don't know, maybe it might be a mechanics question, you know, really horrible mechanics question. Maybe there's some moments and some friction, lots of different stuff going on. You're not sure where to start. Don't think, OK, right, I can't do this question, so I've got to go to question four. Go to question three, part B. OK, so normally in these exams, right, you'll, you'll get given a question in part A, which asks you to show something. Show, so, for example, show that the tension equals... 10 newtons, for example, or show that, 
um, the mean of this distribution is 100 centimeters, right? So normally in the earlier parts of a big question, you'll get show that question to show that this is the answer. So even if you can't do it, don't think, oh, I've got to you know, script the whole question. Go to the next part of the question and use that answer in part A to help you answer part B. So that's a really key one as well. So don't waste too much time. Unfortunately, they time you. It's ridiculous. I know two hours is not a long time to answer a load of maths questions, especially very hard ones. But, you know, just bear that in mind. Try your best. Remember, you're playing this game and you're going to try and get as many marks as you physically can. So you don't want to be wasting too much time on questions you just can't do. It's not worth it. Now, you're going to have to accept, and this is the same with every single maths exam I've ever done in my life and every exam you'll, you'll probably ever do in your life, you're going to have to accept, right, that there will be challenging questions. Obviously, they have to ask challenging questions to, you know, decide, you know, to basically decide who the A-star students are. Um, they've got to ask challenge, challenging questions. But what I will say is this, right, so accept that you are going to get tough questions. Now, I know a few people have said about paper one and paper two that those papers weren't actually too bad. There were a couple of hard questions, but generally speaking, I think people said it wasn't too bad. Um, so still, you know, in, in every exam you do, there will be challenging questions. So don't think, oh, you know, paper one and paper two are fine. So maybe paper three will be fine as well. Maybe it will. I don't know. We don't know. Right. But. You have to accept that in that paper, you're going to get some challenging questions, right? So my advice is this. Don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. It's normal, right? You're going to be asked challenging questions in the maths exam. You have to be, right? But remember this. It's not a trick question, right? Again, you know, the, this really tough question that you see, whatever it may be, is not outside of the syllabus. You know, this is not university maths. It's not further math stuff, right? This is all, you know, normal A-level math stuff. There's nothing you know, outside of the syllabus, you need to know. So it's not a trick question. It's a question involving the knowledge you know. So try to write something down. Try to think about what the question is about. What knowledge does this question require me to use in order to get the answer? So writing something down, again, helps your subconscious mind try and process or try and come up with a method that could work, right? Again, if you're not making any progress after a minute of thinking, move on. But try. See if you can try it. See if you can give it a go. See if you can pick up maybe a mark or two of these challenging questions, um, especially if you do have time at the end. You know, go back to that. If you've got some time at the end, go back to that challenging question and think, you know, could I get a mark or two? Could I write something down? Can I think of something that I studied in class or maybe my homework or in my revision that would be relevant for this question? So that's a good mindset as well. So take a deep breath. Think what areas of maths could I use or what, you know, what? What, what topic is the question about? You know, is it a normal distribution question? So think about normal distribution, you know, think about all the techniques you could use. You know, is it a, a question where we're going to need the normal CD function on the calculator? Um, do we not know a sigma value? Do we not know a mu value? Could it be using the inverse normal function of the calculator? Just write some, you know, some scratch work down on your exam paper. Just get your brain to try and process what you could do. But if you're spending too long and you're not getting anywhere on the question, just move on. That would be my advice. And my final, you know, words of wisdom, you know, go out on a bang. You know, this is your final exam. This is it now. Go and show those examiners what you can do. Right. This is your chance. Again, this is a game you're playing and your objective is to get as many marks as possible. It's an opportunity to demonstrate what you can do. Right. So regurgitate all that knowledge that you have on that exam paper. That's another way that I used to think about it as well. Right. This this exam paper that I'm about to see, I'm going to basically throw up all of my knowledge on that exam paper. That's that's a good way to think about it as well. So go out on a bang, give everything you can to this exam paper, give every question a go, try your best and good luck with with your paper three exam. Um do, if you are watching this after you've done your exam, do leave a comment uh, just to, just so I can see like how you all found it, how you all found the exam, because I'd just be interested to know how paper three went. And just let me know your exam board as well, because obviously different different you know students have different exam boards in different schools. So, you know, do let me know your exam board and how you found your specific paper. Uh, but yeah, good luck. Do your best. Show that examiner what you can do. And I'm sure you guys will all be fine. So best of luck. and. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best.